Danny, 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 hold on, hold on. We have to settle, we have to settle this matter before we start. Anyway, how are you doing? How are you doing this morning? I am blessed. I am yeah, blessed. Yeah, how are you yeah. doing? Let, let's settle this matter so this before we go. So this goes to you, yes, yes. Little Nadra. Special Little Nadra. Nadra yes. of Little Angel School, Thank Medina. You. Uh-huh. Yesterday, we got a tweet mm. from your father, yes. Rufai. Yeah. George, do you know that my daughter, Nadra of Little Angel School, Medina, does not go to school early in the morning mm. because she would not hear... Okay. Okay. So, 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 so today we have to dedicate this one to her. You know what I mean. So this one is for you, Nadra. Go to school. K, 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 K. Please go to school. So you know, you know, you know why I'm playing this. I'm playing this for Uncle Ken, not you anyway. Uncle oh no, Ken. please, please. <laughs> Uncle Ken and I. You know what? You know, what, you know Liverpool PSG is our featured game for uh, live commentary on the UEFA Champions League, which returns later this evening. Of course, this afternoon there are two games that we play this afternoon, but we concentrate on the games this evening. And our game will be Liverpool up against Paris Saint Germain. You are saying what? You win this game? When sure we finish it? Paris uh, at Anfield. <laughs> uh, Charlie Neymar, Mbappe. Oh, please, please. Emma, and it's in Cavani outfit. And Mabi and Pedro, please. <laughs> there's Mbappe and there's Kim Pempe. And also inside the, the team. So we'll see how it goes. You we'll, know, guys. We'll, we'll show them Salah and Mani. <laughs> Shit, you think we are so joking So there's, a, there's a lot more to come, you know, on the show. I mean, when we talk about the Champions League. But, of course, we have to uh, salute our sponsors. Yes, let's salute our sponsors. First of all, Nadra of Little Angel <laughs> School in Medina. <laughs> yes, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> She's bringing us a sports center <laughs> together with MTN. Welcome to the new world. Standard Chartered Bank here for good. FPAC blows your pain away. Multi TV just thrills and Cowbell Gold. Energy for winners. Exciting things are happening with MTN Momo. Keep using your MTN Momo wallet to make payments, send money, and just do more on MTN Momo to build points, and you could win an iPhone X, Samsung S9 Plus, Samsung TV sets, and up to 2,000 cash every month plus more exciting prizes. Dial star 120 has to check your points. Promo last till 31st October 2018. Please note, promo winners will be called only with 0244 300,000 to redeem their prize from the MTN office and not through text messages. Also, promo winners will not receive promo codes. Promo winners do not have to pay anything to redeem a prize. So go on, just Momo it everywhere you go. Terms and conditions apply. Another academic year is here with us and Standard Chartered is ready to welcome back our students with Vim in the Standard Chartered Pay with Ease promo. And now between now and the end of September, students of University of Ghana and KNUST can pay their academic and facility user fees at any Standard Chartered branch across the country and win lots of goodies including iPads, flash screen TVs, branded notepads, pens and many more. You can make your payments at any of our collection points on UG Legon Main Campus, Accra City Campus and KNUST Main Campus when you return to school to begin your registration or simply pay ahead before school reopens and present your slip at our campus branches to redeem your prize. Welcome back to school the Standard Chartered way. Happy semester to remember. Standard Chartered. Yeah, for good. And uh, just we, when we play the Liverpool anthem, the Stan Chat, my ch- Stan Chat folks have just responded to it. <laughs> they also never the walk Stan alone. Stan Liverpool, you Stan, know. Have you seen the new Stand Red? Have you seen the new Stand Red on Instagram? But let me do my sports right Virgil now. Virgil you know van Dijk what? is standing red. Oh, right. my God. That's oh, you're Yes, you just beat these guys. Let me have I my piece of mind. <laughs> you know what? Look, the most prestigious inter-class football competition in the world makes a return tonight. Koroff looking for Jekyll, who's slightly behind him. Then the shot, it's in! Sharawi, El Sharawi has scored! This could be the away goal, they have a Jekyll! Elton Jekyll gets the away goal for Roma, it could be the starting point! Joshua Kimmich looks up, dinks the ball and looking for Lewandowski, who's onside, his header save, but the rebound is launched into the roof of the net by Muller! And Bayern Munich draw the first blood! Chamberlain with a shot, and that's the second goal! It's a quacker, and if you doubt it, Chamberlain, he's got a goal from where 25 yards! 
Walker's the covering defender. He comes on the inside into the penalty area. Firmino is there. Gets the shot away. Saved by Edison. Salah! Liverpool score first. Liverpool strike first. And it had to be no Salah in front of the cup. Big preview of tonight's UEFA Champions League action ahead. But first, the newly introduced double-track senior high school policy could have dire effects on the annual inter-schools and colleges sports competition. Physical education instructors are particularly in a fix on how to get athletes in separate tracks to participate as the second cycle schools divide the entire student body and staff into two different tracks. Love FM Sports Editor Delali Atiasi looks at the magnitude of the potential challenges on the sports development as second cycle level. Ashanti region is noted for its vibrant inter-school and colleges competition which has unearthed talent for the country dating back to decades. Former national athletes like Diana Yankee and Emmanuel Tufokura of the late 1980s as well as current US-based trio of Emmanuel Daso, Achunya Madi and Mabel Dazi were all discovered through the competition. So with the new system, how will the regional education sports department manage the competition in order not to deny some students participation? Henry Osemensa is the Ashanti regional PE coordinator. For the first year, some schools will have a problem because they may not be able to identify those in the other track because every term there will be one track in the house. So now if you brought the athlete into the school, that one you can use. But if it's a, an athlete you have to identify, then there will be a problem. So my colleagues, the PE masters, will have to organize some individual games for the school before the competition. Other than that, there will be a problem. Let's look at the traditional period that we have this intercollegiate athletics, uh, usually in February and March. So effectively, you think that will keep the dates, the, the period that we used to have the intercollegiate? Yes, depending on the general school calendar that will come from Accra, the vacations are not now known because it's going to be a semester system. But when the vacations come, we will have to fix our program into the general school program. Sportsmaster at T.I. Ahmedia Senior High School, Prince Nane Champo, tells me he has devised a strategy to effectively identify the best talents in both tracks. It will be a challenge, but as a school, what we've done is that we are going to organize some internal competitions for these students. So by all means, we'll get one or two from them. It's like when we were in the university, we normally do our programs during the vacation. So it's the same thing. It's just a matter of contacting those students, bringing them on board, campaign them, organize things, and then do whatever you want to do. But it depends on the school. Once the school is supportive, I think this will not be a, any problem at all. And now the program for the semester is in. Nothing has changed. So we are just following suit and then trying to do our best. But once it's a new system, there will be some challenges. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. Uh, there's more here on the Sports Centre. You know, the FIFA Normalisation Committee will officially begin work today after holding the first meeting yesterday. The four-member team are expected to meet the staff of the Federation today as the GFA will open for work for the first time in three months. Now, there have been talks of possible massive personnel changes at the FA, but member of the committee, lawyer Dria Donting, tells Joy Sports they'll first examine the situation before making any decision. We examine the situations one after the other. We analyse them critically. Then we will, it, it will then be a situation where we can decide to do this or to do that. But for now, it will be premature for the judiciary to put, to put a, a judgment on it. And we talk about the Champions League now and we begin with our featured game this evening on your slate at 6.30pm. Build up Liverpool up against Paris Saint-Germain. So Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson says the defeat of Real Madrid in the final of last season is an incentive to do better this year as they begin the group stage campaign with PSG at Anfield. We've started the season with five games in so we're just concentrating on that really. We can use it as a motivation of course to want to go even further but... Yeah, in terms of us now as a team, I think we started really well. We're going in the right direction, we feel confident. So tonight we just want more of the same, keep getting better and put on a good performance. 
Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp is hoping to have Brazilian striker Roberto Firmino fit for the game after suffering an injury to his eye in the EPL game with Tottenham last Saturday. Meanwhile, PSG is 4-3 and this one is a good, good announcement there to Liverpool fans. Edison Cavani, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar are all fit to start. There's live commentary on this game and you know with updates from all other five games scheduled for this evening here on Joy 99.7 FM. Now, in the other match of the group, Napoli travelled to Serbia to take on Richmond Boachi Yadom and Rashid Samaila's Red Star Belgrade. The last team to win the competition when the knockout phase was on. Definitely Red Star Belgrade have qualified for the first time. Their captain, Savage, son of club legend Dujan, is proud to lead the club on the return to the elite competition. We need to earn respect because we haven't played on this stage for so long. I'm sorry about that, but I'm happy that our generation has been the one to bring Red Star back to the Champions League. My dad was a club legend, and while I'm very proud to lead the team into the Champions League, I think dad is even more proud. I was in dad's shadow as a young player. That's the reason I returned to play at Red Star, to come out of his shadow. One of the two Ghanaian players in the first team squad for tonight's game is defender Rashid Samaila, who is hoping to get a chance to play in the competition. We are, as you can see, we've qualified to the Champions League, mm. and uh, hopefully, um, we're going to make impact there also. How happy are you that uh, you're going to taste Champions League? Yeah, I'm um, so much happy because um, uh, uh, it comes in a lifestyle like I'm uh, say a football player. Um, we've qualified, and I'm really happy. I want to um, make myself proud and also Ghanaians proud. So I'm just working very hard. So when I get the opportunity, I will also deliver and uh, do my best. Now, Tottenham Hotspur will play Inter Milan in the early kickoff at 4.55 p.m. Ghana time, of course. And we have Barcelona taking on PSV at the same time. Ahead of the Inter Spurs game, Inter Milan midfielder Kweja Samoa is hoping his side will go far in this year's Champions League. The way we are hoping to go far, uh, the same thing um, other teams are looking forward to go far. Um, we are in a very tough group and um, it's something that we have to accept because... Um, when you play the Champions League, we know we are ready to play among the best teams in other countries. Um, so we just take it as that and then we're going to do our best to qualify to the next uh, stage. Two key players having left out of Spurs' Champions League tie. Reporting from Italy, the BBC's football commentator, John Murray. It was certainly a surprise when Maurizio Pochettino sat down in the San Siro and announced that Kieran Trippier and Toby Alderweireld had not travelled to Milan for technical reasons. He refused to use World Cup fatigue as an excuse. But after two successive defeats, Pochettino says his plan is to use different players. And the only logical conclusion to draw is that he's decided he must now use sparingly the Spurs players who were in Russia for the duration. The injured Deli Ali's also been unable to travel to Italy, but this is a group that also features the champions of Spain and the Netherlands, Barcelona and PSV, which means Spurs may not have much room for manoeuvre. In other games, we'll keep tabs on this evening. Monaco welcome Atletico Madrid. Yes, Borussia Dortmund are away to Club Bruges. Galatasaray play Lokomotiv Moscow and Schalke play Porto. Fabinho with it, he finds Mohamed Salah in the penalty box, it's well, shot, and Mohamed Salah has got a goal! What a fantastic finish by Mohamed Salah! This man is absolutely unbelievable! There is no end to this match, and it's two goals in there! The tally just keeps going up and up and up! What a cheek of a goal when minimum fast! Oh my god! This tie is running away from Rome from Liverpool. This will be their away goal, they have a tackle! And it's a tackle gets the away goal for Roma. It could be the starting point. There is a smidgen of hope. Tiago Pirotti standing and looking at this. The comeback will be on. Pirotti takes it in. And it's the second goal there for them. 5-2 looks better, Gary. So, tonight, we're here with you. I'll be on the commentary. Liverpool versus Paris Saint-Germain. Enjoy. And tomorrow, Red Runner, Ibrahim Asante. It's a big team and we're bringing you the match centre. Even though we have a featured game, it's more like a match centre where we give you everything that you need on the match day. George. Yeah. 
I, I hope you'll be practicing your goal chants throughout the day with I the names I, 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 um, I <laughs> Salah, Mani. Mani. I, I, I'm working on Mbappe. Feminium. Mbappe will be nice. Oh, yeah. Mbappe, Mbappe will be great. Your, your efforts will be, will be wasted. Super. <laughs> <laughs> your efforts will be wasted. It's so it's 6.30. 6.30 uh, tonight and we'll do the same tomorrow. So um, you know how we do it. Our hashtag is hashtag joy UCL. Joy UCL everywhere on Twitter. Uh, you can tweet at us at joysports.gh. You can also WhatsApp us through in the commentary, which you know, and um, everything there is to. You know, get onto my door. I can't wait for today. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's a great game, like game to Corona. start with. Liverpool yes, fantastic game to start with. And PSG. Yeah, 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 especially. So, that's it for the Joy Sports Centre. And I hope our little girl goes to school. Uh, we've done a lot for her today, haven't we? Yes, yes, <laughs> we have. We have. <laughs> a good morning to everyone at the Little Angel School. 